ask you something about the White House because uh, we just want to try to understand this discrepancy that we're seeing because the secretary, the acting secretary of Homeland Security says, quote, this is a good news story. What's happening in Puerto Rico in terms of ability to reach people. Do you think this is a good news story in terms of reach? <laughs> he said that? Yes. She said that it is, is a that good, what he said? It's a she, and she said she's the acting, Elaine Duke, she's the acting uh, Homeland Security director, and we keep hearing this from the White House. They want us, we can, we can play it for you, in okay, fact, well, and for I, our, I hold, hold on, Madam Mayor, just one second. Let us please, play this for you, for you and our viewers. Listen to this. I am very satisfied. Um, I, I know it's a hard storm to recover from, but the amount of progress that's been made, and, and I really um, would appreciate any support uh, that we get. I know it, it, it is really a good news story in terms of our ability to, to reach people and the limited number of deaths that have taken place in such a devastating hurricane. Good, Mayor. Well, maybe from where she's standing, it's a good news story. When you're drinking from a creek, it's not a good news story. When you don't have food for a baby, it's not a good news story. When you have to pull people down from their buildings, because, you, you know, that, I'm sorry, but that really upsets me and frustrates me. You know, get, get up. I, I would ask her to come down here and visit the towns and then make a statement like that, which, frankly, it is an irresponsible statement, and it contrasts with uh, the statements of support that I have been getting since yesterday when I got that call from the White House. This is, damn it, this is not a good news story. This is a people are dying story. This is a life or death story. This is, there's a truckload of stuff that cannot be taken to people's story. This is a story of a devastation that continues to worsen because people are not getting food and water. If I could stream it, a lot more louder. It is not a good news story when people are dying, when they don't have dialysis, when their generators aren't working and their oxygen isn't providing for them. Where is there good news here? I mean, the good news is that we're getting hurt. The good news is that there's boots on the ground. The good news is that the people from FEMA have their heart in the right place and the HHS people know what to do. For heaven's sake, somebody let them do their job. Let them get the food and the water in the hands of people. And then let's talk about good news. What and I'm you... really sorry. But you know, when you, have, when you have people out there dying, literally, scraping for food, where is, where is the good news? What do you want the White House to do? Well, yesterday, and again, I was, I was privileged and thankful and very hopeful when I got a call uh, and things started moving in San Juan. I asked them and let them know that San Juan could be a point of distribution. We are closer than going to Canovanas, which uh, it's in the northeastern part of the island. And it's, uh, di when diesel is a problem, if you have to go... 40 miles to get three pallets of water. Why don't they give you the 21 pallets of water for the week? It, it, it not only is it, I don't know who said it, I heard it. It's a logistics nightmare that we didn't anticipate. That's a clever man. Well, let's fix it. Let's put drones out and drop things. Let's put parachutes out and drop things. Let, let's just get people out there. Sometimes the most difficult problems are solved in the most simple ways. This mayor from a very small town of 20,000 people got one little truck that he got, somebody loaned him the truck, came to San Juan and picked up some supplies. It really isn't that difficult if, if it wants to be done, mm. if, if the logistics don't take the place of the action. Yeah. And I know the FEMA people are working hard and, and they're doing their best. So, so this is a message for President Trump. Thank you for calling San Juan yesterday and listening for our May Day call. But sir, there's 77 other towns that are waiting. They're waiting anxiously and will be very grateful to you and to the American people if you continue to step up to the moral imperative that you've taken on all over the world 
to help those in need. So help us. Not having the containers full. And I know he can do it because he did it yesterday with San Juan. Somebody heard me and they just came to San Juan and things started moving and rolling. Yeah. But this has to happen on a continuous basis for the entire island of Puerto Rico. We heard from General Buchanan, who is now have, on the we ground. We have faith. Yeah. I, I, we know you have faith. I mean, I mean, you've been making this plea every day that we've spoken to you. I mean, it's been, I think, nine days since the hurricane. And I know that you think that things should have happened sooner. When we spoke to General Buchanan, who is now the three-star general who has just arrived on the island yesterday on the ground. He says that roads are still impassable. The infrastructure is so broken. That's why it is hard to get to those more remote areas that you're talking about. Well, let, let's get it done. Well, let's get it done. Let's get them cleaned up. Let's just put a crew of people out there with enough equipment and let's just push things out of the way and move. Where there's a will, there's a way. Isn't that the American way of doing things? that you never get distracted by the obstacles and you move ahead and you push on and you show the world what you can do, well, let's show them. Let's just show them one more time what the U.S. can do and save some lives. This is not about water that's warm so you can take a bath. This is about water that's drinkable so you can save a life. Mayor, um, we've also heard of the, the desperate situation of